In this tutorial, I am going to find the eigenvalues of the matrix A, which has elements sine theta, cosine theta, cosine theta, sine theta. By definition, eigenvalues are the roots of uh, the characteristic polynomial of a given matrix. So in this case, for us to find the eigenvalues, we need to find the characteristic polynomial first. By definition, the characteristic polynomial, which you denote by Pn of lambda, is the determinant of A minus lambda in, where the in there is uh, the identity matrix. So in this case, our A there is a 2 by 2, so our in again there will be a 2 by 2 matrix. So if I substitute our A and uh, the identity 2 by 2 matrix in the formula for Pn of lambda, we would have the determinant of the matrix A minus lambda multiplied by the identity matrix. And the identity matrix there is 1 on the diagonal. So when you multiply it by lambda and subtract from uh, the matrix A, it will result in uh, subtracting lambda from uh, the elements which are on the diagonal of the matrix A. So the result will be the determinant of sine theta minus lambda, cosine theta, cosine theta, sine theta minus lambda. Now looking at uh, the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix, we know that when you have a 2 by 2 matrix, the determinant of A, B, C, D is equal to A, D minus B, C. So using that formula there, our determinant will simplify to sine theta minus lambda squared minus cosine squared theta. So that's what we are having there for our characteristic polynomial. But uh, if we look at this part here, I can expand it. If I square that, and it will give us sine squared theta minus 2 lambda sine theta plus lambda squared, then minus the cosine squared theta. I can then go on and uh, combine terms where we have constants in terms of uh, the variable lambda there. Because what is varying there is our lambda. So sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta will take it as a constant. So I can uh, rewrite that to give us lambda squared minus lambda multiplied by 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. Then uh, to get the eigenvalues, we said they are the roots of the characteristic polynomial. To get the roots of a polynomial, we said that polynomial equals to zero and so for the variable lambda. So we said Pn of lambda to be equals to zero. That's how we get the roots of uh, a polynomial. So we are setting that polynomial that we have just found. This polynomial here, we set it to be equals to zero and then so for lambda. So when you do that, we get lambda squared minus lambda times 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta is equal to zero. And the equation that we are having there is uh, just a quadratic equation. And when you are solving quadratic equations, we can try to find factors, but in this case we can't. If we can't find any factors, then we use uh, the quadratic uh, formula. So we have for the quadratic formula in the variable lambda, we have a lambda squared plus b lambda plus c is equals to zero. The solution for lambda is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So in this case, we see that uh, the coefficient of uh, the lambda squared there is a one. So our a is a one. And the coefficient of uh, lambda is a minus 2 sine theta, so our b is minus 2 sine theta. And the constant there is sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. And if we substitute into the quadratic formula, we would have our lambda is equal to 2 sine theta plus or minus the square root of 4 sine squared theta minus 4 sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta divided by 2. But if you look uh, under the square root sign there, we would have 4 sine squared theta minus 4 sine squared theta to give us a 0. Then the minus 4 multiplied by minus uh, cosine squared theta, it will give us 4 cosine squared theta. So our lambda will simplify to 2 sine theta plus or minus the square root of 4 cosine squared theta divided by 2. And the square root of 4 cosine squared theta is uh, 2 cosine theta. 
So we would have uh, two eigenvalues of the first one there where we have the positive sign to be lambda 1 is equals to sine theta plus cosine theta just because uh, we would be having 2 sine theta plus uh, 2 cosine theta divided by 2 which will give us sine theta plus cosine theta. And the second one will be lambda 2 is equals to sine theta minus cosine theta. So what we are having there is for the matrix A, which has uh, elements sine theta, cosine theta, cosine theta, sine theta. And the eigenvalues are sine theta plus cosine theta. And the second eigenvalue is sine theta minus uh, cosine theta. So these are the two eigenvalues of uh, that are given matrix.